Hi boys and girls, before we start our little phonics lesson today, I wanted to review some letters and sounds. And if you want to go grab a piece of paper or, and, or a marker or a notebook, you could do that now before we start. And you can just put that aside for when we're ready to do that in the next couple minutes. So before we begin, I wanted to review, just like we normally would in school with our sound cards, we're going to echo the letter, sound, and picture that Mrs. Cloud says, okay? U umbrella a. Uh. B butterfly b. G game g. D dinosaur d. R rocket er. S submarine. A astronaut a. Uh. E elephant F O octopus ah I insect it W waterfall w H helicopter M mountain m mm. very good boys and girls if you recall last week before we went on Easter break we were learning about this vowel and its short sound. So remember, boys and girls, as we tap and stretch out these words together, I want you to think, if you hear the short sound of U, uh, U umbrella, uh, you'll know that that's the letter U. You also have learned the other vowels, A, E, I, and O. So I might throw in another vowel in there just to trick you and see how well you remember th that sound as well. All right? Before we do our little game together, I also wanted to review our sight words of the week. So if you look behind me, I wrote our little words of the week on um, some paper, okay? These are words that you've already learned. Before Easter break, we introduced these words, but we're going to say them again. Say them with Mrs. Cloud now. Help me out. Say was, what, said. Now we're going to read them from bottom up. Said, what was. Awesome job. And before we um, just say goodbye to those words, what I wanted to do is try to practice them in a fun, different way. Remember, you should be reviewing these words each day, as well as maybe picking two more words to review so that you get familiar with these words. You might hunt for them in stories. You might want to hide them around your house and play hide and seek with them. You might want to rainbow write them. Just keep practicing and have fun, all right? So here comes one way that we're going to do our word was. We're going to pretend to dribble and shoot. It says we're going to dribble each letter in the word and shoot when you say the word at the end. All right, so we're going to look at this word. This word again is was. We're going to dribble first and then when we want to say the whole word, we're going to shoot like we would a basket. All right, the letters are W A S. So here we go. Pretend to dribble with me. W A S. Shoot. Did you make the basket? Practice again. W-A-S. Shoot. Awesome job. How about if you can use the word was in a sentence? Whisper that sentence to your friend or, or grown-up that's with you today. Was. is This is the past tense. I was at the store yesterday. Was. Can you do a sentence? Remember, a sentence is a complete thought. Here comes our next word. This word is what? W-H-A-T. What? A lot of times we can use this word at the beginning of an asking sentence like, what time is it? Or what are you going to have for lunch today? What? And before we say goodbye to that word, we're going to pretend to throw stars today, boys and girls. We're going to throw one hand up at a time toward the ceiling for each letter of the word. And then we're going to sprinkle our fingers down towards the ground as we say the whole word, okay? So remember, we're going to throw one hand up at the ceiling for each letter, and then we're going to sprinkle down at the end for the whole word. And the word that we're going to do is W-H-A-T. What? Are you ready? All right, follow Mrs. Cloud. We have W-H-A-T. What? Let's try it again. Ready? W-H-A-T. What? Very good. Now you try. Think of a sentence for what and whisper that sentence towards your friend or grown-up that's near you today. What? 
our last word to review today is the word said. S-A-I-D. Said. All right, so here comes our next way that we're going to try. We're going to do this by lifting weights, okay? Lifting weights. It says we're going to pretend to lift weights. And we're going to do one rep for each letter. One rep is like this. We're going to pretend we have a weight in our hand. And as we say uh, one letter, we're going to hold the weights above our head, head at the end as we say the whole word. So I'll show you. For each letter, we're going to alternate our arms like we have weights. And then we're going to push up at the end for the whole word. Remember, the word is said. S-A-I-D. So let's try it. S-A-I-D. Said. Awesome job, guys. Here we go. Let's try it again. S A I D said. Great job. I said you are doing great. All right. So you go ahead and try to use the word said in a sentence. Awesome job. Now, if you're ready, guys, I want you to go ahead and get your little pencil or your notebook, whatever you have to practice writing today with me. And I would let you, you know, go ahead and pause the video if you need to do that. And we're going to try to practice tapping and stretching out new words, all right? All right, if you're ready, remember, if we write a special name of a person, which it would be a proper noun, do you remember what you'll need to do? If you heard a name like Jan or Tom, those names are special, so those words would need an uppercase letter at the beginning. All the other words that I say, if they're not special names of people, places, or things, you could just write in all lowercase. And remember, always try to write from left to right, and write big enough so that your parents can see these words with you, and write as neatly as you can, okay? All right, here we go, guys. This word that I want you to do is the word pup. Pup. Ready? I'm going to tap it out. Pup. Pup. See if you can help me. Uh, All right, did you get this word? Very good. It's p up. And I put the little dots like we normally would when we're in a reading group. Sometimes we like to isolate the sound. So tell me the ending sound. P tell me the beginning sound. P Very good. The beginning and the ending sound in pop. Both have the letter P, okay? And the short sound of U, uh. So when we put that together, P, uh, P, pup. That's a little dog, right? Like my dog, Lucky, he's a little puppy. He's a pup. All right, go ahead and let's get the next word. Ready? How about this word? Mud. 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 See if you can spell that. Mud. As neatly as you can, try to write. On the count of three, you're going to show me your word. Mud. Mud. Are you ready? One, two, three, flip. Did you get these letters? M U D. And remember, boys and girls, your D should be formed this way. This is the lowercase d. Mud. You guys are doing great. Here comes your new word. Remember now, I might be throwing new vowel sounds in here besides the short sound of you just to see how well you're practicing at home. All right, here comes a new word. And this is a verb. This is an action. Dig, dig, d, ig, dig. This weekend, since it's nice out, um, I am going to try to dig up some old flowers and plant some new ones. Maybe that's something fun you guys can do at home too. Dig. Dig. It's a verb. It's an action. See if you can help spell that word with me. Dig. I don't hear the short sound of you, do you? I don't hear a. Uh. I hear another vowel. D. I. G. Hmm. On the count of three, can you help me flip and show me your word? One, two, three. Awesome job. Did you get these letters? D. I. G. D. I. G. I have a question for you. What's the last sound you hear in dig, the sound? Awesome. G. What's the beginning sound you hear in dig? Awesome. D. D. Awesome job. And what's the vowel sound that you heard in the middle? I. I. That's letter I. Awesome job. I don't want you 
to erase if you have a whiteboard right now. See if you can make a new word that rhymes with dig. And instead of erasing these two letters, or if you if you already wrote them, you can go ahead and just write the same letters I G because you're going to hear the same medial and last sounds here. So it's instead of dig, it's going to be a rhyming word. Big, b, ig, big. See if you can help me spell that word. Remember how B is made, okay? It's a little bit tricky because D and B sometimes, a lot of friends, you know, they can get confusing sometimes because they do look similar, but they're made differently, all right? So just try to remember, dig and big are rhyming words. So the beginning sound is the only sound that's going to be different. Their middle and ending sounds are the same. So those letters are the same then too. Look, big is B-I-G, big. And here's how we spelled dig. Here's the D. D I G is dig. B I G is big. Do you see the difference? B and D. Awesome job, guys. Let's do a few more together. I want you to spell this word. Now, this word's going to have a blend at the end, which means there's two letters that will still kind of come together, but they still make their same sound, okay? And it's a verb. It's jump, jump. I'm going to go slow and tap it out. J-um-p, j-um-p. See if you can hear all those sounds and try to write them with me. J-um-p. It's an action. It's a verb. It's something you can do. I'll give you an extra minute for this one. I know this is a little trickier. There's a blend at the end, and I hear a short vowel sound. Do you hear it? Uh, uh. Uh, there we go. See if you got these letters to match. J U M P. J um, jump. Awesome job, guys. Let's try one more together. See if you can do this word. This is also a verb. Run, run, r on, run. A verb. It's something you can do. R on. Wait as neatly as you can. I heard the vowel sound. That was the vowel sound that we did last week. Uh, uh, umbrella. R on. Awesome job. Spell it with me. R U N. Give me the ending sound you hear in run. The ending sound. Mmm, very good. Letter N makes that, that sound. Give me the beginning sound you hear in run. Er, very good. That's letter R. And what was the vowel sound you heard? Uh, uh. You said that vowel sound. Awesome job. And before we go, I want you to try to make a word that rhymes with run. So remember, the beginning sound is the sound that's going to change. The medial sound, the middle sound, and the ending sound they're going to stay the same. So, uh, mm. so right now what you could do is just put a U and N underneath, and then you're going to come up with a beginning sound. And remember, we don't want a nonsense word. We want a real word, a word that makes sense, something that we've heard before, but it has to rhyme with run. I'm going to do mine now. Maybe you can go ahead and try to write a rhyme word now, okay, for your parent or friend, and then I'll show you mine. Remember, I'm only adding one letter in front of those two letters, U and N, and then that'll make a new word that rhymes with run. Do you want to hear my rhyming word? Say it with me. Say sh on sun. Very good. Run and sun are rhyming words. That means they have the middle and ending sounds are the same. Awesome job today, guys. Keep practicing with your letters and sounds at home. Keep trying to read new words in your stories. And most of all, keep practicing, guys. See you later.